Vanessa, stop. Thanks. Right, let's make some celery juice. Cheers. What a sweetie pie. Are you ready for your breakfast now? Do you want to eat a bit? Oh, we got a nice soggy warm wheat a bit for my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my little daddy? Boo! <laughs> What's that? Cheeky kiss. toy box are you playing with your washing machine where are you going <laughs> careful Good morning iFam, you're joining us in the car this morning heading to an appointment that we almost just missed. Not gonna lie, we still, we still might miss we it. Still might miss it. <laughs> why do we do this? We got up this morning, I don't know why we book early appointments. We just, we just, it's just never gonna happen for us. Mornings are too hectic. Man. Mornings are too, too hectic. Um, He's not caring, is he? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, we get up and we sit down at the cat, why do we call it the cat cafe? I don't even know why we call it the cat cafe because no, we don't have a cat. No idea. Anyway, we get up and we sit on the landing, Demi and Chris, as we've said to you guys. Cats sit on windowsills and just watch them, don't they? So that's kind of what we do when we're in the cat cafe. That's true, we do. We just sit there and watch the world go by for half an hour, don't we? Whilst all the children are still sleeping. Yeah, and it's really nice. So me and Chris are sat on the landing. But when we have appointments, we really should realise that we can't do that. We need to get up and just get in the shower and get ready. Because we're sat there having our morning cup of tea. Slowly the children start waking up. We hear Aurora babbling. We hear Jason and Mila start whispering to each other. We don't ever hear the older three girls. No, Isla actually does. Isla comes out usually yeah. before everybody else. But when everyone else is, we have to go kick the other half in. But Isla's usually up the first. Then Jason and Mila. Then Aurora. And then we wake up. Isabel and Esme. <laughs> Anyway, um, we're all just sat there this morning having nice chats because we haven't, obviously, with Esme and I have been away, we've not all actually been together for the last week or so. We're all sat there chatting and I suddenly realised, babe, we've got to be at our appointment in about 45 minutes. I still need to get a shower and wash my hair. So sometimes showers are very quick, you just jump in, in and you're out. No, today I had to wash my hair. And it takes a good 20 minutes to get there. And we're never gonna make it, basically. <laughs> we're never gonna like, make it. It's like three, we're now like 12 minutes before the appointment. We're like 12 minutes before the appointment and we're like 15 minutes away. Three minutes is not really late. Three minutes is just give or take, really. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get there. And the appointment, if anyone's wondering, is to get is to get Chris's eyebrows um like waxed and tinted. So when I was there last time, Chris has always like had a love-hate relationship, haven't you, with your brows? Uh, I'm not sure how much this story I want to share. <laughs> I'm not sure how comfortable I'm about this one. Chris is a bit uncomfortable sharing this, so it might not even make the vlog. But basically, um, when I was getting my eyebrows done the other day, I said to the lady, do you do male eyebrows? And she said, 30 to 40 percent of my clients are males. A lot of men get their eyebrows waxed and tinted. So I booked an appointment for Chris. <laughs> I went home. I said, babe, I've booked you an eyebrow appointment. It's like, what? I'm not going to that. But he's done it. 
He's been a trooper. I'm not saying I'm going to go through with it yet. <laughs> you are. So he's going to get his eyebrows waxed and tinted. So who knows what Chris is going to look like after this. We're going to get his hair sorted, aren't we? Maybe. Not today. I tried to get my hair appointment, but they don't do males, so you're going to have and to maybe go. Maybe we'll just slip into a barber or something afterwards, I don't know. That's why your hair always looks like, um, what's it called, off Dumb and Dumber? Because you just, you just slip into any old barbers. And just, you know, barbers that aren't used to dealing with hair like yours. Long dealing with, hair like dealing with that. Anyway, we're heading to the appointment now. Hopefully we get there on time. Right, I'm actually really happy with them. They look great. That was, that they was look a, so much. Sorry. That was a crazy experience, but um, as in like painful. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chris was nearly crying at his eyebrows. No, I wasn't nearly eyes. crying. He was. But it was it was a lot more of a <gasps> kind of a shock pain than I thought it was going to be. She's she put this like, nice Chris, straight in your face. No one She's like, put it. this. She's putting this nice like warm wax all over my forehead. And I was like, oh yeah, so relaxing with my eyes shut. And then suddenly she's like, oh, <laughs> whips them off from like. <laughs> 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 that was painful, especially the under bits here. But it's cool. I'm happy with them. I, I thought they'd look, so I thought they'd look too pruned or whatever and stupid, but they look boss. They look great. I'm happy with them. Yeah, they look good. So, uh, all right. So, do I have to start taking care of my eyebrows now every time? Yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's like there's a stigma, like oh, but I'm gonna look like a prune. Yeah, that. Why is it a bad thing? I think I was recording, but I am. It's all good. Why is it a bad yeah. thing? Yeah. To about... take care of yourself just because you're a man. It's just ridiculous. You, you do your eyebrows yeah, anyway. Exactly. Let's normalise eyebrow care for men. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to Asda. We need to go. Yeah, come on. I want to go somewhere off. public now, so I'll shut them off. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm playing. Calm down. Okay, I'm just in Asda. Aurora fell asleep in the car, so Chris has waited in the car with her until she wakes up, then he'll come and join me, which to be fair will probably be very quick because that girl does not like to sleep, as most babies, when the car suddenly stops moving. So he'll probably come and join me quickly. I've just walked in and a few things that I've already picked up. A couple of beach towels. These are such good value. Five pound, guys. Five smackaroonies. I think this one was five pounds. They were between five and seven. I'm pretty sure this one was five pound. Um, this one, that one's for Isla, by the way. Why is the camera yellow? I don't know why the camera looks yellow. Anyway, this one for probably Mila. And then this shark one for Jace. And now, as usual, I'm just having a mo Oh my gosh, how cute is that colour? As usual, I'm just having a mooch around. Look how cute the colour of that is. That is so pretty. It's like a really bright mint green. I love that. I'm just having a... Oh, I love... I can't see. I'm in my happy place, guys. That is so cute. Guys, look at this tracksuit. <laughs> Wait. How... I don't know why. The camera's looking a bit yellowy. This is actually not yellow. It's like a light cream. But look how cute that is. I feel like I've not been in Asda in ages, but I was literally in here like last week. Not in this shop um, with my nana when we went shopping. Um, I took her through a Georgia. So this one's a really big one though. So it's always got lots of stuff in here. And I can never resist looking. I'm not buying anything today. But look how cute this is. How gorgeous is that? Like a proper big baggy oversized jumper. Aurora would look so cute in that. Obviously summertime's coming up, so there's no point buying warm things like that. One thing I do need is swimming costumes. Swimming costumes for actually all of the kids. All of the, oh, that's so nice. It's not often I find boys, it is actually. It used to not be often that I found boys clothes that I really liked because boys clothes just seem to suffer. But every now and again I find an outfit and I'm like, that is gorgeous, I like this one. If you've got a boy, get down to Asda and buy this. <laughs> Send me a picture, how much is it? Eight pound, that is absolutely so adorable for a little boy. Or a little girl actually. I'd let Aurora wear that. So cute. But yeah, when I vlog in here, I pretty much need to just vlog with my eyes closed, otherwise I'm never gonna get out what I'm trying to say. But swimming costumes that's what I need or oh, that's what the girls and Jace need for summer this year Got plenty of clothes especially the younger three probably need to get some more stuff for the older three anyway I've come back to the kids section because I was looking for swim stuff for Jace and Mila 
and maybe even Isla someone. So I've actually no, not Isla because I just ordered eight swimming costumes online. So she doesn't need swimwear. And Jason Miller probably got one each, maybe two for Miela. So I need to order them. I'm also going to get the kids some of this whilst it's on offer because this is Jace Miela's Esme and Isla for definite, but maybe even Isabel as well. Favourite drink. It's on offer. So I'm going to grab them a bottle of that as a little treat. Also, me and Chris have fully stopped with the soft drinks. Like, well, all of us have actually with the like the Coke and Dr. Pepper. Uh, when we went to our friends a few days ago, when we had the pizza night at our friends, I had a Coke Zero. But aside from that, we've had nothing but water, celery juice, or with dinner on an evening, a juice. And I usually go for orange, Chris prefers blackcurrant, but my ultimate favorite is this, orange and pineapple. It's absolutely divine. It's a massive 1.5 litre bottle. I've not had this in ages. 1.5 litre bottle. 95p guys, what an absolute bargain. And that's double strength as well. So that's gonna last so long. That three bottles of juice that I've just put in there is gonna cost me about three pound. And that's gonna last us a couple of weeks. If I'd have not been on this little health kick that we're on and I'd have got one, £13.50 crate of Cokes, 24 cans of Coke for £13.50. That would have lasted like three days in our house. Like, and that's not an exaggeration, it would have been about three days. Now, granted, there is five of us that would have been drinking it, but still, that would have lasted about three days. So, not only are we on a better for our bodies. We're also saving money. I just met some lovely I found. Right, I'm gonna get some of these a stick. Oh, Aww. <laughs> See you later. Lovely lady. Um, I do just want to point out from before, because I don't want anyone thinking like, I do love it when you guys come and say hi. Like that lady then, so lovely. Just come straight up to me. Hi Sarah, I understand that everyone wants to do that. That's absolutely fine. It just makes me feel awkward when people chase me around the shops taking pictures and filming me. <laughs> I hate it. Um, anyway, that lady was absolutely lovely. And thank you so much if you watch this vlog, which you just said you will be watching later. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. Right, I'm just going to get a few of these little melty sticks for Aurora. I've just popped in a pack of the green ones, tomato and basil. And now I think I'm going to go for... Carrot and sweet corn, actually. Sweet corn and carrot. Or maybe peach. No, I'm gonna go for three. We're gonna get three. Two savoury, one sweet. Even though technically they're all sweet, really. Yeah. Oh no, savoury actually. Crisp, crisp and savoury. Right. Sometimes I get questions. Quite often, actually. And I used to think this when I first started baby led weaning, but quite a few of these questions have come through recently. And I also see them pop up a lot on a group that I'm on. Can my six month old, that's baby led weaning, have things like this? Because it very clearly says down there, 12 suitable from 12 months. Now, before I say this, do your own research. I am not a professional. So don't take my word, do your own research. And more importantly, do whatever you're comfortable with, not what I'm telling you to do. Just do whatever you're comfortable with. These are fine for six months old. If your baby is baby led weaning and um, is eating what you're eating at meal times and is eating everything you're eating, there's nothing wrong with these. You don't have to wait until 12 months. These are for um, the date, the ages, sorry, on these are for babies that have like purees. So I'm not used to they. they I, they're fine, basically. I just see a lot of questions. Ask, I might get some of those actually, they look quite nice. Peach and banana, fruity bakes. I'm gonna get some of those. Um, I see a lot of questions asking that question and it's something I thought about when I first started baby led weaning. Why can't my baby have those but she can eat a custard cream from the cupboard, for an example. Um, and it's just guidelines, it's just guidelines basically. But 
yeah, my my babies have all had the um, ones that say for a bit older. Or even these, for example, these say seven months. These say seven months. They melt in their mouth instantly. So obviously do what you're comfortable with and do your own research and don't just take my word for it. But if your baby led weaning is different to if you're doing the more traditional purees that lots of people still do with their babies. And baby led weaning's letting them be in control of what they, they eat. Um, I'm not gonna go on a rant about what it is because everyone probably already knows. But yeah, I do feed my baby, my six months old, things like that. Guys, I'm absolutely fuming. I'm actually, I'm way more angry at this than I probably should be. But basically, I'm walking around the store in Asda, and I'm choosing, let me tell you this in the car because you probably can't even hear me with the wind. Why am I pulling up to the car and you're bouncing her to pacify her? When you, you, give over! Every time we go out, right, it's like, you go in, and I'm like, no, I don't want to do it on my own. I don't want to go out and shop on my own. You can come and help, you can choose what food you want. Wait, you, you can choose there? what food you want, etc, etc. No, go on, you just go do all the shopping. Oh, fine. As soon as she wakes up, though, come in and join me. Yeah, I will, because I feel tight on you waking her up. I go to the shopping. Every single time I get back to the car, she's wide awake and he's trying, bouncing on her, bouncy, 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 baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is she not in the car seat? Yeah. Yeah? Laughing way too loud with the people in this car. And she went, yeah, she woke Literally up. Four minutes ago. Right. Four she's always ago. just. Oh, she's exactly. just woke up just now. She's only just woke up. Right. I'm fuming about something. But I need to put the shopping away and get in the car. I'll tell you. Right, guys. I've just spent over a hundred pounds in Asda. Right. So, a couple of days food, loads of celery, some steaks and stuff for Chris. What else did I get? Eggs some lunches, some juice, some milk and butter and bread and the couple of towels that I got, the three towels and the swim set for Jace. Right, that was over £100. I'm not complaining about that. Well, I am, but I'm not. <laughs> but I'm going round like most people with the Asda Rewards app and I'm strategically choosing my shopping, okay? So I'm not buying things on purpose like Chris just went, are you buying things on purpose just for the Rewards app? No, I didn't do that. But if, for example, there's a cheese for £4, and then this cheese is also £4, but this one you get a pound back in your Asda Rewards, I'm going to go for that one. Even though, really, I want that one. But for the pound I'm going to get back, I'm going to go for this one, <laughs> right? So I'm strategically buying my shopping all around Asda. I'm thinking this is a decent shop. I'm going to get some great Asda Rewards cash back for this one. Nice little pot, so I get my Christmas shop for free this year. For free. What? You're not even funny, you're not even funny. <laughs> so, I'm going round, I'm thinking this is great. It gets to the till, she's putting on my shopping through, we're having nicer tears, you know, has it been busy today? She can't wait to get off work, blah, blah, blah. She says, do you have the Asda Rewards app? Yep, I got it, here we go. I pass on my phone, I get it up on my phone. I turn it towards her, she goes to click it, and she goes, oh, sorry, it's just turned off. I turn round and my battery's died. Can't get my Asda Rewards. Yeah, there's a long there's a long pause here because that's how it's fuming I am. I am absolutely gutted because they don't even do that thing where you can just keep your receipt and just scan it like no, they don't do that. You scan it at the till there and then when you're shopping, or you've lost all your rewards, and I've just lost all my rewards. I'm so annoyed. I'm so blooming annoyed, babe. I should have just done a shop. I should have just done a quick shop online. I did a well. shop online last night. I did an Asda food shop online last night, and I got it all in my basket. All the food in my basket, I've, that's why the battery died, because I was looking in my Asda basket to remember everything that I needed as I was walking around the shop. And it was after midnight when I'd gone to check out. And then the slot prices had gone right up. And so Chris was, you know, your collection prices, they go up in price, it was like four pound or something. And Chris is tight, he's like, why are you doing that? We'll just go after to get my browser in the morning. Cakes, bro. So I was like, fine. I've just, and now it's cost me more money because I've lost my rewards. Anyway, can we just go and have some boiled eggs, please? We're not going for boiled eggs. You can go for boiled eggs. <laughs> I just treated myself at the checkout two days because I've had not to eat today, and it's like gone lunchtime now. So I was aging there, wasn't I? You're proper ages now. I was getting chased around the store by some family taking video of me. I felt really awkward. I had to keep going away and then going back, and then I gave up and I just went away and did the food shop. But I met some really nice guys from in there as well. Anyway, um, I'm gonna eat this now. Delicious. 
we should have just filmed their reaction to have to get in their towels because honestly, what the, what were Mila's face? <gasps> she was so shocked. And then Jace, I pranked Jace. I said, "Here, Jace, this one's yours." And I took him this one out. And what did he do? He went. And then what did you do when I showed you your shark one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gave me a big hug and he was so happy. Yeah. And then this is the one we got Isla. I didn't get the two older girls a towel today, but I've just told Izzy I'm going to take her and Esme and they can choose their own. We'll get a few for holiday and then I'll get Isla another couple as well. Oh no, you got them poncho ones. Oh, so yeah. you have three now already. Anyway, this is the little set that I got GA. So I'm just trying these shorts around. These were £3.50. Bargain. 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 Soon. Next month. Not that long away. And then this is the top that I got him as well. It's a super duper cool shark boy. Well, that's been a productive couple of hours. So, yeah, we've basically just spent. Guys, look at my hair regrowth here from having Aurora. <laughs> look at this. Re I keep noticing it in the camera. And I'm like, no, what is that fluff? Look at that fluff there. <laughs> Coming back from having Aurora, I keep noticing it in the camera. Anyway, we just had a very productive couple of hours. We sorted out the kitchen. Guys, do you know what? I need you to do me a favour. I need you to ask me if I've done the laundry. Go on. Ask me. Have you done the laundry yet? Guys, that is all that's left of the laundry <laughs> there is nothing but a few pair of socks that are probably odd actually that's a baby wipe of Aurora's so that's not uh, don't ask me why there's a bit of um strawberry what's going on here right let's just have a chat this is the leftover of the wash we've got a sponge that should be in the bin what who's put that in the wash that'll be Chris that but why is that in the wash? Please tell me why that's in the washing machine. Get that in the bin. We've got fluff. We always love a bit of fluff. We've got a top of a strawberry. What, why have we got a top of a strawberry down here? And then we've got a load of random odd socks also. I'm like, what, and what is that? Like, is that part of the washing machine um, thingy? Also, guys, I have never been down here. And I've just noticed the amount of, like fluff down there I'm gonna have to get something to get down there because that is rank there is so much like fluff down there and hair and manky nastiness I'm gonna have to get one of them fluffers and try and clean that yeah that's going in the bin that's going in the bin and that's Aurora's wipe yes Chase Anyway, I am chuffed that that's done. I feel like a weight's been lifted off me. I've been looking at that pile for over a week now, not wanting to do it. And it's done. <laughs> also, it's a little bit annoying because I was hoping to be able to do like, I don't know, like four or five days worth of celery juice in one go. But I literally just found out that celery juice loses all of its goodness and all of the amazingness that's in it after 48 to 72 hours. So like three days is even pushing it, which means I'm having to every other day make celery juice, which is not ideal. I didn't want to have to, I didn't want to have to do that basically. And if anybody's wondering about the benefits, the health benefits and things of celery juice or they've been looking it up themselves because I've been mentioning it, I know a few, a few of you guys have messaged to say that you're starting it. I, and a few of you have said like how many packs of celery does it take to make a glass? Now I'm not going to lie, it takes about two packs. It takes about two packs of celery because that's one thing that I had no idea about when I first started this and I wish somebody had told me just because I was just interested, but it does take about two packs to get about 18, between between 16 and 20 ounce of celery juice. So how many packs have I got here? I've got five packs here. So this will probably do me like two and a half days. Um, also, why am I such a moron? 
And why have I... Guys, this is how I've been preparing my celery. Right? So, I get a pack. I open it. Okay. Why do I start doing this and pulling them all off? Pull them all off separately. Then I wash them or cut them first. Just I don't have a specific order. And then I sit there one by one. Where's my knife? One by one, two by two, three by three, whatever. I sit there chopping off the end, chopping off the bottom bit. Why? When I got it out the other day, I was like, why do I not just go like this? Done. Done. And then just take out the bits that I don't use. <laughs> No surfing, George. Someone couldn't quite get to bedtime to tonight, bed. bless him. <laughs> right, there we go. This needs light. Where's my phone? Oh, it's over there. Right, so, before I end the vlog tonight, I'm so excited. Let me check I've got the right setting on the camera. Basically, I've got... I've got a friend, I've got a friend who has watched our channel for like years and she is best friends with someone from Dance Moms, like a dance, a dance mom and her daughter obviously um, and she has so kindly sent me a birthday, a birthday video message for Isla from the dance mum. So she is going to freak out. Like Isla is never gonna believe this. Right. Just that's not serious. We've received a video message from somebody that we need to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. Hi Isla, it is Dr. Holly from Dance Moms and Kristen told me you are turning 12. I wanted to send you a quick oh birthday message just to let you know I'm thinking of you. I wish you all the best. I hope you have an absolutely magnificent 12th birthday and it's just as amazing as you. I hear you love the show, Dance Moms, and I appreciate it so very much. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll meet. You never know. The world is smaller than you may think. So I wish you all the best. I wish I could have Empty Chair do a solo in your honor. Um, but you know what? It's all good. Um, you're at the top of my pyramid and enjoy your 12th birthday. Take care. Bye bye. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's so cool. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Ella should Empty so Chair do a solo. Yeah, I know. So like oh my joke. god, I cannot believe that. I, I was so confused when I read that bit. I kept, I kept, I literally thing. kept replaying it over and over again, like, who's she saying? Could it's do because, the solo. It's because in Dance Moms, there's an episode where she gets mad and she starts shouting. And then she goes, well, what do you want me to do? Empty chair, do a solo or something. And then everyone just it got, got around and then it was just a bit of a joke. Ah, so is empty yeah. chair a person? No, mum, it's just an empty chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was like you a nickname for someone. You don't have to watch it to get it. You don't have to watch it to get it. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. How cool is that? It's so cool. I'm so happy with that. I can't believe it. You send it to you oh, watch it. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch, send you it. I'll send you it to your phone. All the time. So oh, no. She knows who I am. It's yeah? Crazy. That is so crazy. Yeah, it is. No, because Isla is literally on cloud nine right now. <laughs> so happy. That is so cool. When they just turn the camera off, we were just chatting about it. And I was like, no. Isla goes, no, because she's actually famous. She knows who I am. She knows my name. <laughs> it is really cool. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. And again, thank you so much for making that happen. Green Dr. Holly. <laughs> that is so cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Phone? I'll send you it. I'll send you it in a second. Anyway guys, that's all for today's vlog. Thank you all so, so much for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5pm. Good night guys. Mm -hmm.